Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Monday Market Breakdown. Now, guys, in this session, you're going to be breaking down pairs that you're going to be focusing on for this coming week. So without wasting any time, let us get into our first pair. So the first pair that I'm looking at is going to be what the euro over the Great British Pound. So this one, on the higher time frame, we do see price coming from what this heavy impulsive movement down and then giving us what this overall sideways corrective structure that can be identified into what the continuation pattern. As you can see, we do have what a valid two swing highs and two swing lows to make it what a valid continuation pattern. So if this does break out over here, so this is confirming that this is having what the high probability of continuing to impulse all the way to the downside and into our mid time frame. So at the moment, so price hasn't broken out, but what we're looking for on the lower time frame is essentially just an entry confirmation that we can use to what to execute ourselves on this one. So if the market does form something like this, that is when we can execute our entry on this pin. Like so we look to enter what in the breakout, stop loss above, and ride what the impulsive wave all the way to the downside. So this is how I'm looking at that euro over the great British pound. And now into my next pair, which is what the Australian dollar over the Swiss franc. So with this one. We do see price coming from at this impulsive movement and then giving us what this side is corrective continuation pattern. As you can see, so once this breaks out, this is confirming that this is having what a high probability of impulsing all the way to the downside. So essentially, what I'm looking for on this pair. So on the midterm frame, we do see price forming with this small confirmation. To confirm it also. So once this does break out, then this is how I'm looking to enter. Just a simple continuation pattern outside the structure will be more than sufficient. on the breakout just stop loss above the highs and tp all the way to the downside so this is how i'm looking at that australian dollar over the system so this week the watch list is pretty nice and short so i'm looking at euro gbp and AUDCHF. so we might be executing any of these pairs possibly today but yeah, guys, I will continue to update you on the progress of this pair. So if any of these pairs do align with our forecast, and then I'll update you when it's time to enter. But other than that, guys, I'll just send this as a trade idea inside the platform so you can take a look at this price. And I'll also send the link to rewatch this session just in case you couldn't join us. But for now, this is the end, guys. Hopefully this session was very informative for you guys. And you also did prepare your pairs for the day. But for now, guys, this is the end, and I'll see you next time.